Hello YouTube world. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over this what we already did briefly and make and also please ask me any questions in the comments that relates to the technical information that you're learning here and I would be glad to answer your questions and it might be easier if you would like a live interactive you know stream so <laughs> just let me know I know how that is it's easier to talk than type um, so we can figure that out if that would be better for you I just can't do like a real long training session without you know compensation um, I'm not making anything on doing these videos. Perhaps someday, somewhere down the road I might, but at this time I'm not. And um, so right now I'm just getting started on creating the videos. And like I should have been doing before. So here we go. Uh, this is in uh, Adobe Illustrator version. 2023 that just came out I don't know exactly when I just know that I recently updated it upgraded updated my Adobe 2022 to 2023 in all of my Adobe Creative Cloud programs I have all of them a long time ago I paid for up to next year sometime so what we're gonna do right now is and one of the things that I do I wanted to mention real quick one of the things that I do is I point out little details because sometimes people get lost and we move too fast and then they're like well how did you do that and so <clears throat> I try to remember to point out little details and these details will help you in what you're doing right here and in other programs okay so for instance we're going to start we're using this uh, particular steps directions which are in which is in the you know maybe I should start at the beginning so I show you where this is I apologize that's all right we're just going to do it that way right here so when you first start Adobe Illustrator 2023 you are going to have this menu system on the left and on the top uh, all these different menu choices I click learn learn will bring up all of these and there's more it says view all right up here and if you click on view all there's more uh, more lessons <clears throat> so they're step by step now this is supposed to be only seven minutes but I made it longer the last time and we're gonna go through those steps again mainly because I don't have enough room on my screen uh, even though it's a bigger monitor so let's go in here click open it up start tutorial I'm doing it this way so you can follow along if you want to bring it up on your screen okay then some things to remember if you don't know where this oh okay step one select the rectangle tool and when it mentions the name of a tool it's highlighted in bold in this case bold is white brighter white than the other white color here to show that that's the name of the tool and then if you don't know where that is and you hover over the question mark that's right across from there it says show location you left click on that when you have the little finger pointing at the question mark you go over to the left it says it has a little pointer with a blue box it's pointing at the tool and it went off the screen select the rectangle tool and 
where the rectangle tool is located also has a little tiny arrow or di uh, triangle right there and that means there's another menu so if you click on that right click on that you will see the rectangle tool is in blue it has an M next to it the blue color means that's the tool that is chosen so if I go down here it, that will be the polygon tool which you'll see a picture of here and you also see this black um, highlight around the polygon tool the icon and that means that's the tool that's being selected right now and that means that this is talking showing information about this what the one that's highlighted so if I right click on it the polygon tool is going to be blue okay but I want the rectangle tool so I'm going to go up there and I'm going to click on that. Now the M part, it's probably control M, but I don't know exactly. Uh, I'd have to investigate that, research that some more. Now after I pick that tool, it stays highlighted with the black box around it. When I'm out over this white area, which is my work area, your work area I'm going to have this little crosshair there right and what that means is the little dot in the middle is the center so I try to line the center up with the center of that corner it doesn't have to be lined up but it's just the way I am because you can always move it around after you're done so let's say I do that right well since this and these these two lines are parallel to each other all I have to do is grab the one in the middle now when I do that I want to look for that double arrow where it's look the arrow goes in both directions I'm going to go over that middle block there left click that and then drag it over and you see the width and the height and that's of the entire rectangle and let's say I want to do the same here right now let's say we want to we want to unhighlight that so I'm going to do control shift what was it S A yeah control shift A I think that's it. I'm going to go up here and double check. Deselect is Shift Control A. Control Shift A. I say Control because that's on the bottom and then Shift is up and then A. So that will deselect. And when you, I clicked on the Select menu and the drop down says Deselect Control Shift Control A. And it's grayed out, which means nothing is selected on the screen. So now if I click on the screen, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want this. I don't want to do anything with this. I don't know why that shows up. Um, probably shows up. It has to show up because of the this being highlighted or chosen. But what I was trying to do when I clicked there, which I still have to learn a little bit because obviously I got it wrong. I was trying to get my crosshair back again after I use my pointer in another part of the screen. Right? So I could get my crosshair if I go click on the, if I, if I take my mouse pointer and I click over there onto the rectangle icon but I was trying to get my cross here and I didn't know how so and you know I have a long tech history so it can be embarrassing to not know how to do something but you know what that's okay I've learned that that's all right it's okay no big deal nothing blew up nothing's gonna blow up it's 
okay so there we go I highlight that one because they want you to go over the red dash which is up there and the green dash line which is here and then draw a perfect square and whenever you want to draw a perfect square or go uh, or a perfect circle or you want to move something in a straight line like move the square straight up or over or the circle straight up or over on the axes straight line axes then you always choose the um, you always choose I gotta move this now so this is gonna mess me up you always choose oh no okay it's still there see now I'm confused that one didn't have it and now this one does and it's still there how nice okay I'm talking about the cross here you always choose uh, press on the uh, shift key so I click on shift I'm already then I right left click and then I scroll so as you can see it's gonna stay on that one dot in the corner and still be a square no matter which way I go so let's go down here whoops see for some reason I screw that up so I want to make sure it's up and down with the arrow up and down like that click once left click and then pull it down just like that okay so I drew a perfect square I drew around the green dot okay now right now I'm going to deselect by control shift a and then I have all of those three highlighted okay so now we're going to click next <coughs> now we want to select the zoom tool again the word zoom and tool are in bold white and then that bold white will relate to words right there will relate to what's on in the question mark okay zoom tool and click in the area of the smallest rectangle to enlarge your view so if we click left click at the question mark it'll take us to the zoom tool with a blue box and a pointer in this case click right there and then once you click on that zoom tool you'll see the black box underneath it that highlights all the way around it now once that happens then you have the zoom tool in your possession on your mouse uh, your mouse is the zoom tool basically yep so what they want us to do is click on this one click in the area of the smallest rectangle okay so if I click and hold the mouse button down it'll move it All right now if I let me see if I want to oh I could do it that way but let's not do oops uh oh I clicked over there sometimes when you click in different areas it will I think you get minus let me see minus no control control negative control minus which is on the top right next to the zero <coughs> excuse me <coughs> somehow I ended up with a different yep see I'm at the pin I don't want that the drawing go back down here click on the zip tool again okay all right so I'm gonna highlight it up again like that then we're going to look at the next direction select the selection tool and click on the smallest rectangle if you don't know where that is click right here it shows you it's the one on the top you have to click on that tool 
and then you have to notice that there is a black box around it and when you do then you know that's what your mouse cursor turns into it turns into that tool so you see that in your screen and then you click inside this square a uh, rectangle and that will highlight the entire rectangle and that's how you select the rectangle okay and then drag any of the four circles in the rectangle corner towards the shapes center now they don't tell you what they're talking about they just say drag any of the four circles if you're a little intimidated by looking at that going well, what does that mean how do I do that okay so what you do is take your mouse go near these different circles and different areas and see what it changes into okay now this right here if you can see that it's a little arc it's like a little arc yeah it's a little arc with um, a triangle on each side a little you know arrow on each side that means rotate so if I right if I left click from this circle I'm at zero degrees if I rotate it right there I'm going to a higher number 350 degrees rotation if I go down I'm going at lower number 3.77 degrees rotation if I want to go back to zero right there and let go and there it is back to zero but that's not what we want to do huh we want to drag any of the four circles in the rectangles corners towards the center so like this is showing the inner circles are the circles that they're talking about and when you go near one of them you'll see this arc like that and when you see that you can left click and then drag and when you do it just puts a curve on the corners okay and that's exactly what they want then from the menu above choose view fit artboard in window to see everything again so click on that go way up here click on view and then fit artboard in window oops I clicked on the wrong thing <laughs> fit artboard there you go now I want to do shift control a and deselect it now I didn't put very much on the corner if I want to I can make you know bigger corners deeper corners I guess you'd say so I could go like this and in actuality see that little arc right there I can just do it like that let's just say I need to do more and I just did so then we do shift control a there we go all right so we're at 19 minutes Ooh. from the menu above wait 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 do, 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 do. okay from the menus above choose view fit okay so we did that so now we're gonna go to number three shapes are made of anchor points and paths now you'll use the direction selection tool to move a point to reshape the roof select the direct selection tool and you're like well which one is that so right over here that area those words right now are bolded so because they're a little like whiter 
than these words. So if you go over here, you left click, yeah, if you left click over here, it will show you where that is. It's right here. Click on that. And then, click inside this. Now here, it's gonna, it doesn't tell you all the information. So I'm going to explain it to you. Click in the box. Okay. It says, click inside the skinny long rectangle selected. Okay, it did. The blue boxes you'll see in the corners are called anchor points. And that's the little tiny boxes. They control the shape. Click the blue point on the upper right of the rectangle to select it. Release the mouse button. This is important. Oh, okay, there it is. Look at the rectangle now. Notice the point you clicked is blue while the rest are hollow. Drag the blue point up to reshape the roof using the dash gray line as a guide. So, what it's saying is Click the blue point, which is the blue tiny box right here, on the upper right of the rectangle to select it, and then release the mouse button. So you want to left click that, and then let go of the mouse button, and then you want to go back to it, you want to left click the mouse button on it and hold it. Don't let go, drag it up, then let go, just like that. That's what those directions are. Press and hold on the rectangular tool, select the ellipse tool, right? Go over here, click once right there so you have the whole menu available, right click on it, the blue one is the rectangle tool. That's the one that's selected right now. We want the ellipsis tool, so we go down like this, and we click once, and it is what our mouse has changed into. Press the shift key and drag over the dash blue line. Okay, so this is where the perfect circle comes in. So I'm going to press the shift key, and then I'm going to go like that. There we go, see? And that'll be a perfect circle. There we go. Don't worry if the circle doesn't align. Yeah, if it doesn't align, that's okay. We can move it around later. The box around the circle is called a bounding box. It's useful for rotating, resizing, and moving. Okay. Alright, now we're going to click Next. 